In Red Dead Redemption 2, you can do most of the challenges in Chapter 2. Horseman 9 is a bit difficult because it's to ride to Blackwater. People are really angry with me at Blackwater. What makes it even more difficult is that you can't ride through water. If you have a look at the map here, Van Horn is all the way in the east, and Blackwater is right down the bottom near the yellow marker. There is a massive river all the way along here with no bridges until you get to Owanjila Dam. You can ride across there, but then there is a long ride from the dam in the west to Blackwater in the east. You constantly get shot at most of the way along here. Here, I'll show you. Here's the dam. I'm riding this fast white Arabian horse I picked up north around Lake Isabella. At first it seems okay, but we soon cross the border to Tall Trees, and there I'm wanted dead or alive. It isn't long before masses of lawmen turn up and start shooting at us. I don't know how they find me so fast, but they don't mean to bring me in alive. It would be a good idea to find a crossing closer to Blackwater so I don't get shot so much. It turns out there's this bridge a lot closer to Blackwater. You can see on the map here that it's just a short ride to Blackwater. The problem is that there's a break in the bridge. It's not a big break, so if I try jumping my horse, I might be able to get across. Let's go. Damn it! Okay, let's try again. Yeah. Seriously! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on! This is the best I can do with the White yeah. Arabian. I got across, but the horse fell down, and that's no good for the challenge. It turns out the White Arabian is just not good at jumping. There's a horse that's better at jumping down in Valentine. Go into the stables and pick the Dutch warm blood. Hey. Good looking horse there. It's the most expensive one there, but if you've picked you. up a few gold bars, you should have plenty of money. If you don't have enough money, what are you even doing? Go and find the gold bars, they are all over the place. Since you've just bought the horse, you will only have level one bonding. You want to level it up to four. One of the easiest ways to do that is to lead the horse around. Wait. Once your horse is level four. Head down to Van Horn. The first thing we want to do is to place a marker on the railway line here. This is because we can ride across the railway bridge to avoid touching water. We'll head up north, then out west. The timer starts when we pass this sign. That abandoned house on the right has the man-made mutant inside. You can find pamphlets there that are the same as Thomas Downs was handing out in Valentine. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Once we've got to the line, we're just going to head up to the construction site. That's one minute. Remember, we have 17 minutes to do the challenge. The legendary animal is the legendary beaver over on the right. Here's the construction site where they're building the railway line. Turn left here and check your map again. We'll be heading out west towards our camp. We want to put a marker on our map, here. This will give us a fairly straight route out west.
Watch out for this log. You do not want to crash into that. We can cut across a few of these turns to save time. That's two minutes. The time looking at the map doesn't count. There was a young man of Nantucket who went down a well in a bucket. The last words he spoke before the rope broke. Oh dear. That's Emerald Station and Emerald Ranch up ahead on the left. You can calm your horse to regenerate stamina. Yeah, there's a girl. The stamina should last all the way then. That's three minutes. There's a bridge here, but the stream is dry, so it shouldn't matter. Here's Guthrie Farm with the magic appearing cows. Let's cut across here. path on the right goes to Carmody Dell. Large Sod Ranch is over on the left. There's Twin Stack Pass up ahead. We're gonna ride through there. Four minutes! That path on the right goes down to Valentine. We're going left, past our camp, then taking the railway line over Bard's Crossing. There, girl. We're coming through Twin Stack Pass. We can cut across here. That's Horseshoe Overlook ahead through the trees. That's five minutes. Once we've got to the marker, we are going to follow a railway line again. We want to take the right at the split, which will send us further out west. Limpany is down there on the right. You can pick up a gold bar and a lockbox in the sheriff's office. That is plenty to buy the horse. You can even pick up a second gold bar later. Yeah. Here's Flatneck Station with the poker table. You can see the cigarette card collector on the left. Six minutes. Now we can take this railway bridge across the river to avoid touching water. This bridge is a good place to find eagles. Sometimes the train will be crossing at the same time. That train will kill you. If you see it coming, turn back and try again.
Seven minutes. When you see the building, head over left to cut the corner. This also helps if the train is coming here. We want to go to the broken bridge here. We set a marker. Here. The marker needs to be on the path. Otherwise, it gives you the wrong route. There's Fort Riggs. You can find a coded letter there. Eight minutes. Once we get to the marker, we head right up here. Easy We're going now. to slow down here. The horse needs to be calm for this to work. You can see lawmen waiting on the rocks to the right. Lead it precisely in the middle here. Now go! Yeah. Jump here and you can get across yep. now. You there! What's Ride as hard as you here? can towards Blackwater. That man's fresh out of vandalism. Ah. Get on him! No, I'm not! They are real angry with me this time. That's nine minutes. Go just close enough to get the horseman challenge. Now ride off left to the water. Head around here and they don't follow. You asked for it, asshole. No, I didn't! Ride over the sandbanks and through the water. Duck! Yeah. Now we'll be wanted here as well, but if we just keep riding, they give up searching. We end up with a bounty, but it's only five dollars. So there you go, that's how to take the shortcut to Blackwater to get the Horseman 9 challenge. It only takes around nine minutes, which is way under the time limit of 17. If you try it out yourself, you can probably do even better. There we go.